Hi everyone, I'm Beth Robinson, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'm gonna to show you how to create a faux tile card. It was probably one of my favorite techniques that I learned when I started with Stamping Up. So I wanted to show you that today, but I have a few things that I wanted to talk about that are going on right now with Stamping Up. So right now we have a um, get and go starter kit promotion, which you can join the Stampin' Up! community, take it for a trial run and see how um, you like it. And after the three month period, you decide you don't like it, then there's no penalty to drop. So I just wanted to give you some um, suggestions on why joining Stamping Up! is fun. So one of the things that I think is a lot of fun is that you, everybody loves to shop. So I call it happy shopping. You can enjoy 20 to 25% off your favorite inks, paper, stamps, tools, and more if you remain active. You can order new products first. That's one of my favorites. You get to view the catalogs, you get them before anybody else does and you get to pre-order the new prog products a month or even more before the release and at a discount. That is really awesome. So on top of getting it early, you also get it at a discount. Another reason why is that you get to join through me. Those who purchase the kit join through me instantly and become a member of my Sweet Sentiment Crafters community. I offer a positive, pressure-free, rewarding, and resourceful private community for passionate cra paper crafters and also for beginners. I love being able to work with one-on-one -on -one stampers who are just starting and who are just deciding how they want to create cards and gift items. Another reason to do it just for you. There's no obligation to host workshops or parties, to sell the products to others, or purchase anything beyond the kit. So the best part is right now, for the, um, for right now that you can join is that we have the starter kit you can choose at $99, but you will pick up to $125 worth of products. Plus, for the month of September, you will also receive enough cardstock pieces to make 16 cards. You'll get green, Granny Apple green cardstock and Coco, Coastal Cabana cardstock and some other cardstock. To create 16 cards, you will also receive a pack of new basic rhinestone jewels. You will also receive the So Much Love stamp set and the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set. That's a $42 extra savings that you'll receive. So I think the only, so when you're joining, you would just need to add the Granny Apple Green ink pad and the Coastal Cabana ink pad to your starter kit. The best thing about joining, if you are not thinking about this as a business, is being a hobby stamper. I started as a hobby stamper over 13 years ago and decided I just want to try the product out and I love paper crafting so I wanted to have my own creativity and stay busy making cards, selling them and also giving them to family and friends as gifts. So I started there and it wasn't until about five, seven years later I started to make it a business. I welcome hobby stampers. When you purchase the starter kit, you will receive an access to my private and exclusive virtual Facebook group and receive weekly newsletters that give you tips and ideas on the card making and different techniques. You will also have um, extra money and or free products to earn. Stampin' Up! offers a fun and creative opportunity to share your passion for stamping and extra income and product 
the choice is yours. So to continue with the benefits and the discounts from the time you join through the end of the first full quarter, stamping up quarter, <clears throat> which is the stamping up quarter, you can take advantage of demo discounts and benefits. So our quarters run, there are four quarters, January through March, April through June, July through September, and October through December. If you join in the month of September, you will enjoy all the discounts and benefits through December. You will have a balance of the quarter in which you join, plus the first full quarter to reach your $300 in sales, including personal purchases. And that's also $300 before your discount. So really, the $300 is the retail, but you're going to get your 20 to 25% off discount. So you really are saving some money. And you can renew once you've made that quarterly you renew for another quarter and you join risk-free if you reach three hundred dollars in sales by the end of the first full quarter great you automatically renew your demo discounts and benefits for another quarter to continue you will need to reach three hundred dollars or more in sales including personal sales to renew from quarter to quarter if you don't you have no pet there's no penalty to drop and you just keep the products that you have on hand. And then if you decide later down the road that you'd like to rejoin, we do have a three month grace period. So I think it's important to explore. And right now with the extra benefits and the extra $42 that you receive, it's a fun way to take it for a test drive. So I'd love for you to try it out. Okay. So for today's project, as I said, we are going to be creating a faux tile card. So here I have the faux tile card that I made and I had put this out already, but I had not made the video. This is a great technique. We're gonna be using our score tool here to make the score lines and then make the file, the tile technique. So I'm going to show you how we get that done. So this is this card, the card we're making today is going to be a little different from the card that I've already made. We're going to be using the Love of Leaves stamp set. This does come as a bundle and if you were to buy together, you would receive it at a 10% discount. So with the bundle, you get the stamp set and you also get the dies that coordinate it with it. This is a really fun um, die set that I've played with already. And here's one card just to show you that I've made using the dies. So not only does it cut out the leaf, but it also embosses and this, is, and this is also using this large piece right here. It gives that fun stitching technique. So just by getting the dies and running it through our emboss embossing cut machine, you can get this nice detail. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So for today's card, we have a card base of four and a half by 11 mint macaron cardstock, and I have scored it at five and a half. So I'm going to go ahead, and you'll notice that I have a valley side and a mountain side. I'm going to, the crease needs to go over on the mountain side, and I just make sure that my edges are matched up, and then I'm gonna use my bone folder, and it flattens the card which is really nice to have. Then we have our layer piece is a piece of four and an eighth by five and three eighths piece of terracotta tile. We also have a layer. This is a, going to be our faux tile piece and this is a four by four piece of very vanilla. 
And then I also have a piece, one by four, of our Specialty Designer Paper Series Gilded Autumn. This whole suite is incredible and I'm really, really loving it. So this one you can tell has some of our brushed metallic, um, this would be bronze that highlights the leaves. So I thought that would just give it a little bit more depth to the card. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and I also have a four by five and a quarter piece for the inside of the card that we will stamp and decorate. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take, this is our score tool and our Simply Scored tool. And so it has two different knobs. It has a bigger one and the smaller knob. There you go. It's the smaller knob for the scoring. So it depends on how fine you wanna see your scoring. But I think for this faux tile card, we're gonna go ahead and use the, the bigger ball. All right? And on my last card, I did it every half inch, but I think this time around, I'm gonna go every inch. So here I have, and these are also little tabs that when you are working with the scoring, it helps keep you level and focused on where you're scoring. So I'm gonna score at an inch on each side. Hopefully this, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the top, right at the one inch and score down. I'm gonna go ahead and score again at the two inch and again at the three inch. So you can see that we have three score lines. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn and do it over again. One inch, two inch, three inch. And now we are ready. So now I'm ready, I'm going to, to get my card ready. Now to rough this up a little bit, I have a sponge right here and I have my crumb cake. And what I wanna do is I just wanna add a little bit of depth and not make it so stark, very vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off the page and just rub, sponge a little bit. Rough it up a little bit. This is just gonna give it a little bit more depth and you'll be able to see the score lines a little bit better. Not too much, but just enough so you get a little bit of color. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and stamp our image. Now, since I'm using photopolymer, I want to be able to have, this is my foam mat, and I have it covered because you can see that I stamp a lot on it, but I wanna make sure that I have enough um, depth in the, when I stamp the image. So first of all, I'm going to use, I like to start with the largest images first and then fill in with the smaller one. So I'm gonna be using this ginkgo leaf and I'm using crushed curry. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp. And go ahead and place the image. There we go. So you'll notice that you're going to get the lines that don't fill in when you stamp. And that's what you want with the faux tile. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp another one. Now we're ready. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close up my ink, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean off. This is using our stamping chamois. I keep it in one of our DVD cases that you can get, but this works great. The chamois, I keep it wet, and I use it over and over and over again, and it cleans the block just 
beautifully. Always keeping that to the side. All right, so I'm gonna start with my next large leaf right here. And I would consider this maybe an oak leaf. And I'm gonna be using Cajun Craze. This gives us a little bit more boldness. Cajun Craze, a little bit darker. And again, I'm going to stamp. You could, if you wanted to, lighten that one up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp off the page. And then this way, it'll be a little bit lighter on the paper. There you go. Okay. By just stamping that off a little bit, it's still the same color, but it's the gradation that is nice to use. All right. Now, turn that off. And now I am ready to use, I think I'm going to use Mint Macaron and one of the smaller leaves. That's all I need. I might add one more. I just have to see how I like it. And this is our last one. Using terracotta tile. And just stamp there. Maybe one more right here. Let's see how we like that. Do we like the balance? Do I need another green? I think we'll leave it there just like that. All right. So now that we have stamped the image, now what we're going to do is show the real magic of the faux tile. I've got my heat tool ready to go, and we're gonna be using clear embossing powder. All right, so here I have, let me put these away. Here we have our Versamark, and I like using the um, Versamark with um, the clear embossing ink. I put it in here. This is an old baby spoon that I use. So what you're gonna do first, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my pad back in here. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp over rub all of it over. Okay. And then I'm going to take my embossing powder and it's going to go all over the cardstock. And you'll notice when you have it all covered up, it'll have a little bit of, of a cloudy effect over it. I think I have it all covered up. Okay. All right, there we go. Now what we're going to do is, oops, let me put this back in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to heat But it will start to clear. Okay. 
you'll notice it's starting to clear up. Oh, it's going from cloudy to clear. You'll notice it has a nice little shine to it. Once the heat gun really gets going, it takes about five minutes to do a piece, maybe less than that. And you want to be careful. You want to make sure if you get one side, and then I'll turn it over, I'll turn it around, and use the other side so I don't burn my fingers. can also go underneath it. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. Let's oh, see right here. Okay, let's see how that looks. So now, once you look at it, see the shine that you get? So it's got, it looks like a gloss, a gloss tile. I really like the effect that, that it gives. So let's put the card together. First of all, I wanna go ahead and stamp the inside of my image. And I'm gonna take crushed curry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just stamp the leaf image right there. All right. And then I forgot to get out a saying. So on the inside of this card, it says hello and it said, I thought of you today. So I like that saying, so I think we'll use that one again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. And I could take, there we go. And when lining up your sayings, I like to line it up. Oh, you can't see, hold on. When I'm lining up my sayings, there we go. I like lining them up on my grid paper so I know that it's in line. I'm going to go ahead and use Cajun Craze to stamp the saying over the leaf. Stamp it right there. Oops. Well, as you can see, I got a little boo-boo right there. That's, that happens. I could cover it up with another leaf if I wanted to. Okay, so that's ready to go. So now we can put the card together. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my stamp and seal and I'm gonna put the inside in first. As you know, we have a new adhesive. This is our stamp and seal. I like it. It's a little bit stronger than our old tape runner, which is nice. Okay, so that's the inside of the card. Now we're gonna work on the layer. And you can see that this is curled up just a little bit. So I'm just gonna flatten out the card underneath. There we go, so have it like that. 
Okay. Now, so I'm going to layer it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it. Remember, it's an eighth of an inch. And I will use quite a bit of this because so it lays flat on the card layer. Then I'm going to take my strip and I'm going to make sure I have that eighth of an inch around it. Because we're going to use ribbon to cover the space. Okay. There we go. There we have it. So now what you have is the space right here. So I'm gonna take my scalloped linen terracotta tile, it's a half inch. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to cut it and just add it, layer it right over, flip it over, add a little bit of tape runner on one end that's the other thing too about, I'm sorry, our stamp and seal is that it adheres ribbons nicely. Okay, so there you have it. You have that. And then what I'm going to do is to finish this off, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I think I wanna add dimensionals to it. So I'm gonna get some dimensionals out. And I will add quite a few of dimensionals so it does lay flat onto the card base. And remember, you can use every aspect of the dimensionals. Even you can use the edges. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of those. I really wanna make sure this lays quite flat onto the card base. Okay, so I think I've got enough. And I'm just gonna go ahead and peel off the backings. Sometimes you have to feel to make sure you got them all off. <laughs> all right, here we go. So now I'm ready to add it to my card base. And remember, it's an eighth of an inch. And there we go. Okay, so there's the card so far. And then now what we're going to do is we have these wonderful trinkets. They're acorn trinkets, they're great. And they're a nice bronze metallic color and I'm going to tie it on with some linen thread and then tie it on to the scalloped ribbon. So I'm going to use an extra long piece just so I know. I'm threading it in there and I'm just going to make a knot. There we go. Just to make sure that it's on there. Do another knot. Okay. And then I'm going to take, and this is usually, I'm just gonna make a knot. Okay. And turn, there we go. And before I really tie it in there, I wanna go ahead and thread through acorn and tie that on. There we go. You can make it tight. 
and there we go. Perfect. And then I will, there you go. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this at a slant. And I'm going to trim off a little bit of the linen thread. All right, there you have it. Okay, so we need to have a little sentiment in the front. And I'm going to be using a piece of scrap piece of white and I'm going to stamp make sure I get all this put away another idea is when I put my ribbons back together I like having a pin and I pin that in there so that it's ready to go to be put back away all right so now what I need to do is I'm going to take the sentiment that says thank you from the same stamp set, Love of Leaves. And I'm going to stamp in Cajun Craze. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out and I'm gonna trim it down and cut them apart. So you have the thank and the you, different. There we go. And I'm going to put them onto my base with dimensionals. I'm going to use the mini dimensionals. Another one. Hopefully that is what's nice about the mini dimensionals is that they are tiny and you can use them easily to put on these little sayings. So here we go. Actually, I want that to go that way. So I'm going to put thank there and then the U. Do I like that? I can put it underneath if I want to. There you go. And I like that. So you don't even, you can just fussy cut it out to do the thank you. I really like, and on the inside, remember to have your saying. And I like, it gives a little bit more feeling when you have, so you can stamp on top of the leaf. So there you have it. There is our faux tile technique show you the two different cards that we did today. I hope you really enjoyed um, this technique video. Please leave in the comments below um, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love for you to. And also, you can also follow me at lizzystamps.com and also at Facebook at Lizzie Stamps Stampin' Up. All right, and also, there we go. Um, also, you can go to my Stampin' Up! website, bethrobinson.stampinup.net, to see more about the promotions going on. Also, our Emboss and Cup Machine is now live for purchase. So, I have a video on the embossing machine that you can look at. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me and hope to see you soon. Happy stamping.